So you just got yourself a Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, and you're probably excited to dive into printing all kinds of cool stuff. But before you get too far, there are a few must print items that will make your printer even better and your 3D printing experience a lot smoother. These prints are beginner friendly, super practical, and a great way to get familiar with your printer while customizing it to your need. Whether you're new to 3D printing or just want to optimize your setup, these are the first things you should print for your Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. So let's get started. The first thing on the list is the poop waste bin. If you've already started printing with your A1 Mini, you know that it poops out a little bit of filament before every print to clean the nozzle. While that's a great feature, the leftover filament tends to collect on your printer base, or even worse, your desk. And cleaning all that up after every single print can get super annoying. A poop waste bin gives all the extra filament a dedicated place to go. Think of it like a mini trash can for your 3D printer. It keeps things tidy and saves you time. I printed mine in about an hour using some leftover PLA and it fits perfectly under the nozzle area. If you're planning to print one, make sure you choose a design that's a snug fit for your printer's frame so it doesn't slide around or move around. And for a clean, cohesive look, print it in a filament color that matches your A1 Mini setup. I have a couple different color ones, but I tend to go with the white one just because it matches the A1 Mini. By the way guys, I don't think I introduced myself. My name is Chris and this is 3D Print Dude. I'm completely obsessed with 3D printing. And if you like it too, chances are we'd be good friends. Please subscribe. Next on the list is the poop deflector, which sounds pretty weird when I say it, but it works perfectly alongside the poop waste bin. The deflector is a tiny part that redirects the waste filament away from the build plate so that it lands neatly in the waste bin instead of getting stuck on your prints or your workspace. This was one of the first things I printed and it's so quick to print, mine only took like 20 minutes. I noticed an immediate difference. My nozzle area stays cleaner and I don't have to worry about stray filament messing up with my prints anymore. This is a great beginner project because it's small, super simple, and super useful. You can find plenty of designs online, so pick one you like and just give it a try. This next one is super cool. If you ever need to move your 3D printer around, this print is going to save your sanity. It's known as the handle. While the A1 Mini is lightweight, it's awkward to pick up without a good grip. A handle attaches to the top of the printer and makes it so much easier to carry. I printed mine in PLA, which is nice and strong, and I've used it to move my printer multiple times without any issues, so PLA is probably a decent filament to print it in. It's a practical addition, especially if you're reorganizing your workspace or taking a printer somewhere else to 3D print. I think it just adds a cool look to the 3D printer as well. I personally don't find myself moving my 3D printer around at all, but it just looks pretty cool. And I think it would look cooler if you printed it in like lime green or something. I went with white to match the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, but some cool colors could really add some taste to that 3D printer. You may have noticed some of these Pokemons that we've been painting over here on the table. I also have some videos on how to paint 3D prints super basic and cheap. They turn out great. I mean, look at the finish on this. Isn't that just so cool? Ganga! Let's move on to filament clips, which are a total game changer for keeping your spools organized. Loose filament can easily unwind and create a tangled mess, which is frustrating and can even ruin your prints. Filament clips snap right onto your spool and hold the filament securely in place, so you don't have to worry about it unspooling at any point. These are super quick to print, just about 10 minutes each, and I usually print a bunch of extras to have on hand. What I love about filament clips is how customizable they are. You can find designs in all shapes and sizes, or even print ones with fun details like your name or your favorite logo. It's a simple print, but it makes swapping filament spools so much easier and keeps your workspace more tidy and your filaments tightly bound together. So the next upgrade is on the build plate printing. Can you guess what it is yet? We still have 35 minutes to print. So while we wait for that print to finish, I figured I'd use this as a therapy session because I can't afford therapy anymore. Why is it so expensive? For real though, guys, why is 3D printing so addicting? I now have four filament dryers, three different 3D printers. I'm pretty sure my old lady's gonna leave me if these boxes just keep reappearing here. But for real, hit me up in the comments. Why do you think 3D printing is so addicting? 
It's completely ran over all my other hobbies. I think it's because we're like creating things, right? Like look at this bowl, like I just get to print this? I don't know, hit me up in the comments. Next, let's talk about adding an upgraded camera to your A1 Mini. As you probably know, the camera is not very good on these machines. The most common camera upgrade is to use an auxiliary camera from somewhere else. I personally find myself liking the wise cams. There's a bunch of different types of brackets for different cameras in the marketplaces. These brackets only take around an hour to print. You can add an auxiliary camera of your choosing. Like I said, I personally like the wise cams just because my house is covered in them. They're super low cost. You can set them to record any movement or sounds. The user interface is just amazing. I'll throw a link in the description if you're interested. The next thing you could think about printing is some of these chain link cable covers. There's a ton of different designs and a lot of people have made them to look a lot different. It's essentially kind of like a cover that mimics a chain-like motion that you can 3D print. It looks super cool and has kind of like a robotic feel to add to your machine. I find myself personally not using these just because I feel like I don't like constructing with the cables, especially when some of these cables are moving and I just feel like if it failed, I just, I don't like using them. But it's a super popular upgrade that people are printing for these printers. And again, some of these 3D print upgrades aren't gonna be for you, but these are some of the most generic ones that everyone's doing for this printer. You might be thinking to yourself, oh, that's corny, and yeah, I get it, but these are the most popular ones. The next thing to print is a scraper, and some of the machines actually come with these scrapers, but it's easy enough just to 3D print one. These are pretty obvious, they just kind of help you remove the 3D print after it's finished printing. Sometimes they stick to the build plate pretty good, and that's where the scraper kind of comes in and helps you remove them. And again guys, if you're looking for any of these files or links to products to talk about, they will all be in the description below. This next upgrade for your Bamboo Lab A1 Mini is super cool. It's essentially a small little 3D printed toolbox to hold all the tools that came with your 3D printer. There's a bunch of different designs, but I love this one in particular just because it fits right into this slot right here on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. Like I said, there's a ton of different designs, but I think it's important to kind of keep all the tools and oils and accessories that came with your Bamboo Lab A1 Mini just in case something happens and you have all this stuff here. That's why 3D printing this little toolbox is a perfect upgrade or modification to your 3D printer. And if you're wondering, printing this in PLA works actually pretty well. And there you have it, the five must print items for your A1 Mini. These projects are perfect for beginners and make a big difference in how smooth and enjoyable your 3D printing experience could be. If you're planning to print any of these, let me know in the comments. And if you've already found some great things to print for your machine, drop some suggestions down below as well. I'd love to hear them. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more 3D printing tips, tricks, projects, ideas, literally everything having to deal with 3D printing. Thanks for watching and happy printing.